my homosexuals sit down. Today was a day of pure raw passion and fucking emotion. I have gone through the whirlwind of holy god damn shit fuck. I'm tired. <laughs> but I am so, so proud that I'm getting through the work and the sessions and whatever and just doing my best. For context, oh, I have worked 12 hour night shifts the past two days in a row, which is not bad. I like the night shift. I like the people. The work's been great. I started this job last week. Management did not tell me I was scheduled a third day in a row because it apparently cuts off after the pay period. So even though I'm working overtime hours, it doesn't count. But whatever, that's life. That's just the job sometimes. It's gonna happen, that's okay. The thing that's not okay <laughs> is the fact that I had the heaviest workout of the week and the most strenuous, especially since getting my knee fixed and getting more confident there, I don't have as much core strength as I used to. It's inevitable. The volume, like I'm, I'm still just as strong, but the volume hits different when you haven't done it in a while. You know, I, I, I'm gaining strength in set volume again, you know? And so a clean and jerk day is all core, man. It's, that's all it is. Everything else feels great every goddamn time. It is always just my fucking core that is exploding every time. And that's the point. That is the purpose of today. That's why I like to do it this certain way. I'm not complaining about that. I'm complaining about the fact that 36 hours and three days without knowing it is a lot, especially when school started this week. It's my senior year, so you know, I gotta be on top of shit, which <laughs> shit happens. And you know, you do a 12 hour shift, you sleep for five hours, you wake up, you do your homework for the week, you go to the gym for three hours, and now we're back on the 12 hour shift once again. And yeah, I could sit here and bitch and moan and complain all I want, but that's not gonna get me fucking anywhere, man. I, I can't explain to you how many thoughts I had today. That's one of the hardest parts about a shitty workout, or not even shitty workout, just a workout where your body is physically unprepared, you know, or physically overexerted. You could be overprepared, which is definitely what I felt like today. Um, but it's it's a matter of I'm sitting there trying to convince myself something's wrong. Maybe we got to change the program, whatever, whatever, whatever. This is why we have faith in our discipline. God damn it. Like, seriously, it's this is not a matter of me failing. I got through it all. I should I'm over the fucking moon that I got through every single set because I know what my 100% feels like. And I put it in, for sure. I mean, if you guys were here last week, the last clean and jerk day I did, front squats, I did 305 for five by four, and it was easy because my body was physically prepared for that day because the work schedule was not as strenuous at that time. Just like how with management isn't telling me when I'm scheduled for some fucking reason, life is gonna happen sometimes and your body is not gonna work with you every single workout session, you know? The thing that I wanna really emphasize before I tell you guys how I'm doing and get to the brunt of it. The main thing I really, really, really want to drive home with you guys is even though it may look worse and feel worse, this is going to be a hot take, but I, this is just my perspective and my experience through the years of going through it because I have done this trial and error so many times that I know how it feels. And even if it looks worse and feels worse than your typical kind of lift, that does not mean you're weaker. And sure, in the moment, you might not be as strong as you possibly could have been right at that time if you had done the program a different way. But if you wrote the program this certain way, like I did, then it's not a matter of, oh, maybe something's wrong, or maybe I need to switch this up a little bit to do something different. It's a matter of give it the time it needs so that it can flourish and you can see the full extent of what you need to work on. Because like I said, last week was beautiful. I got through it very well. I'm just exhausted, you know? I, I, I feel great mentally, but physically I'm just burnt out. And that's fine, you know, I'll be all right. I'm, I'm loving life either way. And that's, that's the mindset I'm gonna drive home regardless of how tired I fucking get at four in the morning in the psych ward. But dude, if you're gonna sit there and try to change every little thing every time you have a shitty workout or a shitty feeling workout, it's not so much, you know, I feel like the focus is just on the wrong thing. Because the way I see it, it's not so much 
that you had a shitty workout. It's the fact that you didn't have the mentality to get through that shitty workout itself, you know? Because I'm not fucking perfect, dude. When I got through those cleaning jerks, that first set was rough and tough. And I was worried. And I got through it. And I did great. But I'm on a, I, I, this is the first time I've done a full clean jerk day in two hours flat. It normally takes like two to three minimum, you know? And dude, the, the energy and passion that I get alone from knowing that I stuck through it is enough to get me through the next fucking month. You know, it's, it's wonderful, but I, it, it's, I'm sitting there and I'm doing my front squats and I, I feel like my core is going to explode. I'm tired and not in an injured way, by the way, I'm not feeling like I'm at risk. It's just a matter of physically I'm exhausted and my body is fighting me tooth and fucking nail trying to get me to stop. That's the hardest part because your body wants to remain comfortable. That's what's hard about lifting especially if you work because I'm telling you right now if you work especially full-time I am full-time employee at this hospital full-time student and full-time at the gym I'm practically working three full-time fucking jobs god damn it but regardless of that it's the situation I put myself in it's the situation I planned for you know even though I didn't plan on working three shifts in a row I I'm on a contract. My job position is not just a matter of my blatant to-do list, you know? A job is never going to work out exactly the way you think it's going to, just like the gym. It's everything in life, you know? Because even if I'm not on the job, today could have felt just as hard if my body wasn't physically prepared for it. That's, that's the hard pill to swallow, is when you have a shitty workout or a, I keep saying that, it's just a tough workout in general, and it coincides with a really tough day at work or school, relationships, whatever you want to do, you know, mental health in general, it's so easy to blame every little thing for fucking you over rather than sitting there and being like, you know what, I feel like I'm getting buried in the dirt. I feel like I've been dragged 100 miles. Like, dude, you have it in you, you know? You've done it before. You programmed it. You planned this, and you put yourself in these shoes. So even if you have the variability of possibly failing it, do it anyway with confidence. If you're feeling like you're going to get injured, that's different. But if you are just mentally tired, physically tired, but you can try and attempt, do it, man. I, I, I'm telling you, I hit the first set of, I hit 275 on front squat fell heavy today. That is bad. You know, that is not a good sign for the future of that current lift and I did the first set at 325 and I I was just sitting there like oh man you know especially with not being able to front squat like at all with my knee fucked up the past three and a half months my core strength and my delt strength have never been so low to the point where though like my strength and my delt my core they're there for very low volume the the conditioning is what's difficult right now and so I'm building that strength back up my legs and my back and my everything else can do it. It's just the main body parts that haven't been hit in a long time are getting used to this volume again. And it's fucking hard. It's always so goddamn hard. But that's the passion part of it. Look at me talking to you guys right fucking now. I, I, like, seriously. I had one of the toughest workouts I've had in a minute. I knew it was going to be tough, and I went anyway. I knew I was going to be struggling and in pain, and I did it anyway. I knew I was going to have my 36 hours of work in the midst of this anyway, and still went. And that is what it really, it's so back and forth with the fact that you have to commit and give yourself that chance to really feel it out, you know? Your body is never going to allow you to be comfortable never not in the gym i don't you know work is back and forth because it could be physical or mental or both whatever but the gym specifically with how long i've been doing this and how much i've put into it and the commitment alone i am telling you i am promising you your body does not want to fucking work with you man it doesn't holy shit like it's it's so much more than 
everyone thinks it is. It's not just about the small facts or the fact that your schedule might be busy or one little thing happened in the day. It's all you, you know? That's that's the, the most complex part about it is understanding and appreciating and accepting and even even loving this fact that the, it's it's only on you, you know? I said it before. You have to look out for yourself in this world. That's We are all individual uh, people with unique experiences and specific brains, you know, that we will never share with one another. So no matter how much someone's going to try to be compassionate with you or understand or listen to you, they can't understand or f- fully comprehend what you're going through to the extent that you have to for yourself to keep going, you know, truly, 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 truly. But anyway, I, I, I know it's been a short one, but I have work <laughs> in eight minutes. So physically, uh, it, it's, it was really hard. It was really, really tough. But regardless of that, I know that even if the form looked a little weird or, you know, I didn't feel as confident or whatever, it's going to get there no matter what. It is going to get there for sure. And these harder days that look and feel worse are going to stack on top of themselves for when either when I get to next week, the next PR, the next training block. It could be months from now. But there will be a time where my front squats are flying. Everything is booming. I feel wonderful. And that's because I am committing to it. Because that's, that's the bare minimum of what I could give my body. You know, that, my body does so much for me. So I got to give it that same appreciation and, you know, let it grow at the rate that it can allow itself to do. Because no matter how mentally fortified I am or passionate, whatever, my body's going to go at its own pace. My body don't give a fuck about me. <laughs> you know? So I, gotta, I have to work with my body. And it's going to get there at some point, And I'm going to push it, but I can't kill it, you know? I got to let it grow where it wants to grow and it will get there. But I have to be the one to sit there and hold its hand and be like, you can fucking do it. Okay. So enough ranting physically (laughs) again. um, I'll just give it a flat eight because I did put in great effort and clean jerks did feel good. Clean pulls felt decent. Could have been a lot better, but again, that's the point. Front squats were definitely the hardest because it's just all core and delt. But everything went. I hit every set. And I I was worried. I thought I was going to have to do two sets today because I was just so tired. But I committed, dude. And I had it in me. And I wouldn't have known if I didn't fucking do it in that moment. And so now this passion is going to carry over. And tomorrow, the next week, the next block, whatever, is going to get easier and easier and more confident along the way. (sighs) So mentally... I'll just give it a flat nine, like right, just one level over, you know, it, I, I feel good. I'm very passionate. I'm very proud, but it, you know, I, I don't want to mix up my physical with my mental because mentally I am ecstatic and I know that this is going to be where I see the most growth in myself, you know, cause I, I, I know you might look at it and you might see one of those front squat sets and think, oh, well his core was breaking, his delts were going forward, his elbows weren't able to stay as vertical as he could have held it. Um, That's just bad form. And I'm telling you, I know what my 100% feels like, and I was giving it my fucking all. I That was as high as I could have possibly held it to the furthest extent, and it's going to stack on top of itself. I don't care if I max out this program. I don't. It would be more beneficial for me to just run the entire program again and then get to that point where it's easy, you know, and because you want to have those programs that make you confident in the lifts so that you can pack on the weight with confidence and passion. God damn it. But anyway, that's all I got. I will be back tomorrow, even though I'm working another 12 hours, but I'll be all right and we're going to keep it going. But I have pretty sure it's power, power snatch tomorrow. That'll be pretty chill. And then pause back squat. So, yeah, look at that. Stars align. I'll get to relax a little bit comparatively. Uh, it'll be a late one for sure because I'm going to sleep as much as I can when I, when I get home. But I'm just I'm going to keep running it and doing the absolute best I can. Same with you guys. Keep doing it. Let me know how your lifts and lives have been going. I love hearing about it, and I appreciate you guys so goddamn much for sticking around and hearing me yap about all this bullshit. So I'll be back. I love you guys. See you.